Hello, my name is Olivia Romer. I'm a SAGE certified consultant at TAG, a premier SAGE partner for construction software with a team of experts in construction accounting and software solutions. In this five-part video series, we will help you prepare for your year-end activities in SAGE 300 Construction and Real Estate. In the first video, we discussed how to prepare for your 1099s prior to printing them. If you missed it, go ahead and click the link in the description below. In today's video, I will show you how to print your 1099s using Atrix. Let's get started. To begin the 1099 process, open the Accounts Payable module, navigate to Tasks, Federal E-Filing and Reporting, and then select Form 1099 USA. As the federal and state government report forms are updated, the software will issue a new update to give you access to the most current forms. When the Forms Update box appears, click the Automatic Update box. Based on network security settings, you might need to be logged in as an administrator to run the update. Then the following box will appear. Hit Next. The system will now update all the forms to the latest version. After the update is complete, hit the Close button. You will then need to reopen the Form 1099 USA task. The following box will appear. Based on your data folder setup, you may have two options to select. You can run your report by vendor or by fiscal entity. If you have more than one legal entity within your data folder, it is best to run your 1099s by fiscal entity. If you only have one legal entity but multiple departments, it is best to run your 1099s by vendor. Then select the form you want to print. Most of your vendors will receive the Form 1099 miscellaneous. Then choose the reporting year for the 1099s you want to print. Enter the minimum reporting amount in the box shown. If you have entered your federal ID number in the GL settings, this will pre-populate for you. Otherwise, you will need to enter your federal ID number in the box shown. Then hit Next. The window will then display all of the vendors that have the Vendor Receives a Form 1099 checkbox checked. Hit Next. Then hit the Generate button. The following box will appear. You have a few options here. You can do a test run with the first 25 vendors, process a test run for all your vendors, or start processing your 1099s without a test run. Make your selection and then hit Next. For this video, I have chosen to start processing my 1099s. A box will appear displaying your federal ID number. If it is incorrect, this is your final opportunity to make any corrections. Hit Next. Then you will see a box that displays your company name, address, and contact information. Make sure the box is filled out completely and hit Next. Then a box will appear asking you whether you are filing on behalf of your company or employer or if you are a third party. In most instances, you will be filing on behalf of your company or employer. Hit Next. The next box to appear is the state and local tax entity boxes. If you must report to any state or local government your 1099s, Make sure the appropriate tax account numbers are filled out in this box. Hit Next. Then the system will ask you whether or not your recipients have elected to only receive their 1099 forms electronically. There is a cost associated with the electronic delivery of your 1099s to vendors. You can print your 1099s on the forms for free. Hit Next. Then you will be asked how you would like the federal ID and social security numbers displayed on the 1099 recipient copies and whether or not you would like zeros or blanks displayed for no reporting amount. I recommend printing zeros in lieu of leaving an item blank. Hit Next. If you have multiple accounts payable data files, you have the option to combine the data files into one 1099 filing report. Make the appropriate selection for your business and hit Next. The software will then display an Excel-like grid with the 1099 vendors. 
Confirm that the information listed is accurate. If not, you can make any corrections inside the grid. Once you are finished reviewing or making corrections, hit the green arrow to advance to the next step. The software will now confirm that you are not missing any information. If errors are found, make the necessary corrections in the grid. Keep hitting the green arrow to advance through to the next section. The following box will appear. You have two options available to you, a paid and a free option for your 1099s. For $1.99 per recipient, Atrix will print and mail the 1099 form to your vendors. They will also electronically file the form 1099 to the federal government and, if required, the appropriate state agency. If you would rather print the 1099s yourself, select the Other Options button. You can e-file your federal 1099s for free. If required, you can e-file the state form for a fee of 69 cents per recipient, or you can print the state forms for free. Check the appropriate boxes, then hit Next for the following three windows. The system will ask you if you'd like to separate each form with a divider sheet. Select your option of choice and hit Next. A box will appear that will summarize your selection. If everything is correct, hit Next. A window will appear that shows the state copies of the 1099 form if applicable. Hit the Print Final button, then hit the green arrow to proceed to the next step. Then your 1096 form will display. Hit the Print Final button and then hit Next. A window will appear that shows the 1099 recipient copies. Hit the Print Final button. The official 1099 recipient forms will print. Then hit the green arrow to proceed to the next step. A window will appear that shows your copies of the 1099 recipient form. Hit the Print Final button, then hit the green arrow to proceed to the next step. A window will appear that shows the federal copies of the 1099 form. Hit the Print Final button, then hit the green arrow to proceed to the next step. Then the copy of your 1096 form will display. Hit Print Copy and then Next Step. Then the 1099 instruction form will display. Stick the 1099 recipient copies into your printer so the instructions can print on the back side of each form. Hit the Print Final button, and once finished, hit the Next Step button. Lastly, the e-file window will pop up. Log in and finish the e-file process. You have now completed your 1099s. In the next video, we will show you how to prepare for and print your W-2 forms. If you would like to learn more about the Sage Construction and Real Estate Software products, visit our website www.teamtag.net or email us at sales at teamtag.net. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.